In this movie clip, I will show you a few of the new features of the upcoming Switch 09. In Switch 09, whenever the Switch service stops working for any reason, an application called the Switch Watchdog will automatically restart the service to guarantee constant file processing at all times. In the Switch Designer, an obvious addition to several panes is the search field. You can enter any keyword and Switch will filter down to show you the results. You can specify your search using the magnifying glass icon on the left side of the field. For instance, I'm looking for all flows that use the Pits Observer element. Notice that it allows you to quickly find the flow you need. Removing the filter by clicking the small X icon will show the complete list again. I'll select the flow What's New in Switch 09 and move towards the element pane. The search field in this pane allows you to efficiently filter down to the elements you want to use in the flow. In this case we need InDesign. An extra addition to the elements pane is the favorites list. Elements that you use often can be dragged into this list. An obvious element would be the folder element. So I'll drag and drop this element onto the favorites list. You can also right click or use control key on an element to add it to the favorites list. You will find that Switch09 helps you to create and manage flows faster than ever before. The search field was a good start, but let's highlight a few others. I have a few elements on Canvas. We know working with previous versions that these elements cannot be connected without a folder in between, but I'll try it anyway. We see that a folder is automatically suggested and integrated between two processes. Afterwards, the folder element can be selected and specified so it reacts as a normal element. Adding a second folder allows me to sort on a few different file types. Changing the properties only allow PostScript files on this new connection. This illustrates another common issue in flow design. I now see that the second folder is obsolete and a distiller process should be added in between which was kind of a hassle in earlier versions, you now only have to drop the element of choice on the connection you want it to be added. The element is automatically placed in between the two folders and earlier added connection properties are kept. Files processed by distiller will go directly to the pre-flight step. In this step we see that one of the connections is set up but incorrectly linked. In Switch 09 connections can be moved by selecting it hovering over one of the sides until a small red button pops up. Copying a connection can be done as well, holding the option key by performing the same action as before will show up a blue button instead of a red one. All properties on the connection are copied as well. Knowing how easy it is to copy connection properties, let's take a look at the folder properties. The selected folder has a number of properties that I would like to use for another folder. In Switch 09, it's just a control right click on the folder and copy the attributes. One copied, select the folder of choice and paste the attributes. Due to the fact that all properties are pasted into this folder, I only need minor changes, for instance changing the name of the folder. So far the new flow design additions in Switch 09. Let's process some files. The first thing I would like to show you in this regard is the new and improved Switch client. Next to the fact that the Switch client user interface has been improved drastically, I now have filters for all the jobs that I'm doing. I can still connect to several servers. I can submit a file or a folder. So what I'll do now is I'll select two files and submit them. As previous versions you can still add additional metadata entries to define job IDs, customer email addresses, any data that you can think of. You submit to a certain flow and then you click OK. Immediately two files appear on the right side of the switch client. Now I'll do the same thing for a folder, a job folder. So what I'll do is I'll submit a InDesign package again 
using the same metadata. As you can see, it now defines it as a folder in the switch client. The files are transferred and sorted in the flow to go different ways. First, let's take a look at the InDesign package. We see that the InDesign package actually has three InDesign files with their common links and fonts. The split multi-job element allows you to split these three InDesign files into three different InDesign packages. That way they can be separately converted to PDF using InDesign. The same action can be done for other native file formats. In the switch client some files are weighted to be checked. The thumbnail will give us a great representation of each job. The job filters can filter in out any unwanted jobs. For instance, I only want to take a look at the alert job. On the right side of each job, we find the approval folders. Using a right click or control click, you can open the pre-flight report or any other report that is linked to that specific job. Once we've decided what to do, just click one of the options on the right side to approve or deny the job. So I'll do the same for the other jobs. The second one is correct. The third one shows us a severe error. So I have to deny this one. And the last one is successful as well. The results of our actions in the switch client are four jobs which should be assembled and merged into one multi-page PDF file. Before we can do that we need to of course assemble them into one job folder based on the name then sort the files in the job based on the number in each file name and then we can merge these four pages into one multi-page file using the merge PDF pages element which is new in Switch09. We also have the split PDF pages element of course to do the opposite. The result is a multi-page PDF file which is perfect for further proofing or imposition. Next to the new elements we've just covered, there are several additions to existing elements, and I would like to highlight one, the mail send. At certain steps in the switch flow, you need to send out email notification. For internal email notifications, plain body text suffices, but notifications to customers might need a bit more flash using HTML templates. In Switch09, the mail send has been changed substantially to meet that demand. Find more movie clips about Switch09 on enfocus.com.